Your voice, your vote, and while the election may be over, the voting process in Arizona is still front and center. State lawmakers already hard at work considering big changes for future elections. Here's ABC 15's Nicole Valdez. The Arizona legislature back in session and some wasting no time introducing bills that could change the game in our state's elections or at least move the goalposts. And we saw plenty of fiery debate. It seems to me we should always be uh, taking a look at how we can make improvements. Only when uh, a particular candidate loses does anybody seem concerned about uh, these uh, this, this structure. The Senate Government Committee voting to pass four bills, among them bills aiming to widen the recount margin in Arizona and allow anyone who can pay to request one of their own. We're providing an opportunity for the, the doubter uh, to have his his or her questions answered. Senators quickly clashed. Allowing rich people to demand a recount just because they can afford it will never restore confidence in our elections. Lots of folks who have lost faith in the election process, and that should alarm us all. The reason why there's doubt out there about our elections right now is because of uncorroborated claims misinformation and flat out lies. The way to fix those concerns is not to run bills like this. It's to tell people the truth. And voters and organizations advocating for voting rights called in. We just lived through the terrible consequences of what happens when people make unproven, un, uh, unsubstantiated allegations of fraud. I don't think we should feed that beast any longer. Alex Galata heads all voting is local Arizona. There's just no basis for it. it there's no security interest that it meets. Um, and there, there's no data that supports it. So we shouldn't do it. But one bill stood out to many. If passed into law, it would purge voters from the permanent early voting list if they don't vote by mail in a certain number of elections. Every time we clean our voting list, okay, we there are a subset of valid voters who are purged improperly uh, and in some circumstances illegally because it's not a very scientific process. The bill sponsor, Republican Senator Michelle Ugenti Rita. It makes sense that we keep integrity within that system. So in other words, that again, the ballots that we're sending out are truly being sent to people who want to utilize it. But critics called this anything but a safeguard. In fact, some called it voter suppression. This is going to uh, disenfranchise thousands, thousands of voters across our great state. It does not put Arizonans first. It is a direct attack on voters and particularly on Latinos and voters of color. This is ultimately going to be another example of why it is so hard to be a voter in Arizona. I would certainly hope that if these bills made it to the governor's desk, that he would have no doubt in vetoing them because they play on the conspiracies and lies that he spoke out against. And I hope he would be consistent about that. Nicole Valdez, ABC 15, Arizona.